Hello, my name is Dr. Rebecca Bond and I'm an endocrinologist at the Mayo Clinic. I specialize in treating patients with thyroid disease and particularly patients with Graves' disease and the associated eye condition, Graves' ophthalmopathy. Treatment options for Graves' ophthalmopathy are somewhat limited. When I see a patient with this condition and uh, think about appropriate treatment, I first decide whether the patient has fairly mild or more severe disease and whether the disease is active or inactive. Patients with relatively mild disease sometimes don't require any kind of treatment because often the mild signs and symptoms of the disease resolve spontaneously. Patients with more moderate or moderately uh, severe disease have significant impact on their quality of life and it's these patients that uh, really uh, often require some uh, kind of treatment. In uh, patients with severe disease requiring treatment, I uh, distinguish between those who have inactive uh, versus active disease. Patients with inactive disease tend to have um, uh, quiet white eyes without a lot of um, erythema or eye pain. These patients may still have significant proptosis and double vision, but they really don't have inflammatory signs or symptoms. These patients usually do well with orbital decompression surgery if they have excessive proptosis um, or eyelid surgery. Patients who have active disease usually have quite a bit of eye pain, redness, swelling around the eyes, and it's in these patients that I consider using immunosuppressive agents. Generally, this means corticosteroids, which may be, even, may be given either orally or intravenously um, over the course of several weeks. In general, patients with uh, more severe inflammatory disease respond better to intravenous steroids than they do to uh, oral steroids, with about 80% of of these patients showing good response to IV steroids and only about 50% responding well to, um, the, to the oral steroids. Uh, and some patients who even have good response to begin with to oral steroids really can't tolerate um, a full course uh, because of the side effects that uh, are, are associated with uh, longer term steroid use. It's for these reasons that we decided to um, do a study at the Mayo Clinic looking at uh, rituximab for the treatment of severe active Graves' ophthalmopathy. Rituximab is, is used with benefit for other diseases including rheumatoid arthritis. Um, rituximab is an anti-inflammatory agent and uh, so we uh, are recruiting into our trial patients who have severe and inflammatory disease.